morning guys welcome to a summer relaxing day i am not even going to tell you guys what time it is but i did get up earlier to make breakfast for thomas before he went to work i don't like to eat breakfast early in the morning i feel like disgusted by it. like i'm not hungry so i just went back to sleep but anyways it is time to get up and start the day so let's begin <music> done now i'm gonna go ahead and shower i just showered my hair yesterday so i'm not due for another hair wash for like a few days but i am gonna shower my body because it is super super hot outside <laughs> Okay, I'm out of the shower. So this is going to be my outfit today. Typically, this is kind of what I like to use for any relaxing day or just in general when I want to be comfortable. I was thinking about wearing biker shorts, but I'm just going to do some jeans. And I have not yet worn my rainbow sandals. So I'm going to use these today just with an oversized tee, which I love. And I have to plancharla because it's a little wrinkly. Before I go into my makeup, I do want to show you a few packages that I got. I already opened it because I had something else that I had to use. Blah, blah, blah. So this is what I'm... <laughs> I'm super excited for this, especially because I've been buying the matcha green tea latte over at Starbucks anytime like at work, you know, and I noticed it's like five bucks. So I decided to get my own. I know at Starbucks, they probably just like shake it. But then I was looking at videos because I'm like, OK, Karen, if you're going to learn how to do matcha, you have to learn how to do it the right way. These are the other items that I had to get. I don't have like cute jars to make drinks in and I wanted to go ahead and get the mason jar ones. And then I also had to get this bamboo whisk. Interesting. I know it's probably not going to taste amazing the first time, but I'm going to work on it and I will perfect it. I'm going to do it like the keto version today and then we'll see how that tastes. This is going to be a little mini beauty haul because I did get a few items. So let's get started. I am a lover of Belief, the skincare brand. So this one, I love this mask. It's like super jellyish blue and it smells delicious and it feels amazing on my skin. So I first bought it like a few years back and then I also went ahead and bought the moisturize bomb and I finished this one and I wanted to get a replacement for it. I think this is for like normal to dry skin, mm -hmm. but I got the right one for me now. So it's this one. And then I also got the toner from the same brand. The fragrance it has is just like a refreshing... It's just like a refreshing, pleasant smell. Oh my gosh, I suck at describing. This is like a daily moisturizer for the day, whereas this one is a sleeping mask. We're gonna use the Aqua Balm today, and it feels super smooth. I love it. Oh my gosh. I went ahead and purchased these two items. So this is the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. It looks darker on the container than it'll actually look on your skin, but it's just supposed to give you like a healthy glow. Today, because I am doing my makeup, I'm not gonna use it. And then this other product that I got is the Huda Beauty Luminous Matte Liquid Concealer. If you guys have been watching my channel, you know that I love her foundation. I love the powder. I use this right now when I do my makeup. And then we got some Jaclyn Cosmetics. I got two different bronzers because I didn't know which one was my shade. And then I also got the Iced Highlighter. And then I got the Lip Oil. Wow, her packaging is very pretty. Okay, I just did my foundation, so I'm going to go in with the concealer. Ooh, that's an interesting doe foot applicator. It's like swerved. And I got this in the shade Royal Icing. I'm hoping it doesn't dry down quick. No, it looks good. Is this the right shade for me? We'll make it work. Okay, so my face is all powdered up. I'm gonna go in with the bronzers. I think both look nice, but personally, I'd go with vitamin D, at least for right now, because I'm super fair. Okay, now I'm gonna try the highlighter. Oh, that's a little intense. It's very blinding. I was trying to do a natural glow. Now let's go in with the, oh my God, so cute and fat. Very moisturizing. I really like it. Alrighty, so those were the products. Okay guys, it's matcha time. It's my first time ever making it and I'm super excited. Thank you. 
I don't know how this is gonna be. I'm not a crazy fan of almond milk, but I really wanted to try it the healthy way, so let's see how it tastes. Actually, I could drink this. I probably would do like another shot of the matcha. No, no, I could taste it actually. it at home guys okay i am gonna try it with different things but this is actually gonna be like working for me and i don't have to worry about like the carbs and everything okay so now that we did all of that i do have to do on my nails because these are super grown out and today i'm actually gonna be doing something i've never done with my nails before which is getting i've already gotten gel x but i'm gonna be getting the almond shape today my friend always gets them and she said she really loves it that's like the only style she does and i did want to go ahead and just do my natural nails but uh i am gonna be going to miami soon so i think i'm just gonna end up doing those because i don't want to risk my natural nails splitting in half because that's the case recently and i also have to do my toes so i'm excited let's go <laughs> I just left the nail salon. I was here for like, oh my gosh, two hours. And these are my nails. I also got powder on my two crooked toes because you guys know how I have them crooked. But overall, I really like everything. Look at this. They kind of look like elegant, right? I see a lot of people getting these and I'm never one to get them because I just like the square. But yeah, I don't hate them. I think I'm gonna get used to them. It's kind of like having your own nails just with a little oomph. So it's like comfortable. Oh my gosh, when she was doing them, I was like, please Lord, let me love these. Please let me not hate these. Babe, what do you think of my nails? You like them? Oh. Huh? Okay, there we go. That's what I, I was hoping you would say something crazy like that. Huh? Because that's just what you do. You won't say like, oh babe, they're just so beautiful. There's something afterwards, always. I don't know, it looks like something like a vampire. A vampire? Okay guys, and then to end this beautiful summer day, we came to the beach. I had Thomas step out because I don't know why I got shy all of a sudden, but he's never been to the beach to watch the sunset. And I had just done this for the first time a couple weeks ago with my cousin, where we brought sushi and we watched the sunset and it was so comfy and so amazing, like beautiful. And it makes you really appreciate what you have. There's a lot of people who don't have the beach super close like I do. And I feel like a lot of times we take it for granted. So I'm here and I'm excited. We brought pupusas and yeah, come along with us. Oh my gosh, you could also see like todo esto. Thomas is embarrassed. He doesn't want to take everything, but I don't care. I'm freaking excited. There he is. 